Yeah, we're still here at the Bank of Ireland Enterprise Town um, afternoon. It's been a very hectic day for us all. And everybody's climbing down now at this stage. And we've had a great speech by Gavin Duffy, who's just finished. It was quite uh, enlightening. Um, but just to introduce you to a very, very unusual, shall we say, product in County Wicklow. And it's, uh, it, it's based in Paris Court House in Enniscurry. And it's called Taras Palace, and it's a museum of childhood. But here to talk about the product is Anne Lawless and Mary Moore. And uh, first of all, I'll ask Anne, um, could you just give us a background to the, to the entire project, which is a fabulous uh, story? Well, Taras Palace was built in um, Dublin 40 years ago after we lost Titania's Palace. Titania's Palace was built by Sir Neville Wilkinson in Mount Merion and it travelled all over the world to raise money for children and unfortunately it left Ireland, it's now in Denmark. So we're based, we're open all the year round up in Paris Court. Um, it's a 28 room miniature palace and every room is full of 112 scale miniatures. So it's an actual, shall we say, miniature house then, is it? Yes, every room you walk in and um, you go up on the ramp and there's a two-page quiz for children. Every room would be about two foot by two foot and there's 28 rooms in the palace. We also have a museum room and we have an interactive room for children as well. So the idea of the full project, or, uh, shall we say, or the product of the Museum of Childhood is to raise money then? Yes, we're raising money for children's charities and we change the charities every three to four months. At the moment, we're raising money for Childhood Cancer Foundation. Before that, it was the Down Syndrome Centre in Sandyford Industrial Estate. And the brainchild of the entire project was by whom? Ronnie MacDonald, the founder of the Irish Antique Association. He was devastated when we lost Titania's Palace and he said to his wife, Doreen, why can't we build our own and raise money for children's charities? Um, we have 45 volunteers working now in Tara's Palace. We're open all the year round. The only day we close is Christmas Day. And we're so lucky to have the product um, in Paris Court House in the estate, Mary. Um, what a lovely place to work and what a, a, a magic place to have the whole product. Yes, it's wonderful. And it, they, the setting is so, so good for it because when you look through some of the windows, into Tara's own garden, you can also see the views off Parsergort Garden as well, right through. And it is wonderful, it's one of the best views. And the amount of visitors then, does it attract all sorts, like young, old, or and what, what kind of numbers does it get? Well, the ages are from small tots, which we have a playroom we can, they can enjoy. And a lot of our visitors are senior people who really love to see the workmanship goes into our palace, as well as enjoy toys that they may have had when they were young themselves. And how does one, uh, is it open, uh, what are the opening hours and what are the opening days uh, for, the, for the product? We're open um, every day, all, uh, all year round, and um, we open from 10 to 5 every day, 11 to 5 on Sundays. We do children's birthday parties, we get a lot of groups, and we have very good rates for special groups as well. And the website uh, that you, that you uh, promote the product from is on? The back of the brochure here is called childhoodmuseum.org. It's an absolute fabulous brochure, I must say, and one that I wasn't aware of at all. So um, I think certainly that Garden County Radio would love to be able to talk to you again maybe on your next uh, event. So on our Saturday morning project, or on our Saturday morning programs, we'd love to highlight it again. And thanks so many for coming along. Wonderful, thank you very much. And come and visit us in Tara's Palace Museum of Childhood. Thank you very much.